What's up guys, on Maths here, and we're going to start off uh, this angles questions on uh, Edexcel's paper. So, uh, we've got an angle on a point here, and with this question, uh, we've got kind of a fact we know as a number and a fact we know as algebra. So, the fact we know is uh, angles, angles at a point add up to 360 okay and we are going to add our tram lines our tram lines just go down either side of the equal sign because we'll have to do some working out with it so we know uh, that angles at a point equal 360 so 360 are, is our number but the angles at a point we know is going to be this 2x here this 3x and this 90 degrees here so it's going to be 2x plus 3x plus the 90 degrees, which is going to equal that 360. So 2x plus 3x is going to be 5x. So we just collected the like terms. So we need to find out what x is. So on both sides of the equation, we're going to get rid of that plus 90 from the left-hand side and move it across the right. And the way we do that is if it's a plus 90, we just go to the opposite, which is going to be take away 90. So we're going to take away 90 from this side to get rid of it, but it's got to go somewhere. So it's going to go to this right-hand side. So whatever you do to the left, you've got to do to the right. So on the left-hand side, we've got rid of that 90, so we're just left with 5x. And on this side, we're taking away 90, and we're left with, what, 270. Let's just scroll down a bit and maybe add a little bit more on the tram lines. We'll probably need a little bit more. Okay. So next step we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that 5 from the 5x. Now, what that 5 is, it's a times 5. So to get rid of it, what's the opposite of times 5? Obviously, divided by 5 is the opposite. We've got to do that to both sides. So we've cancelled that 5 out from the left-hand side and just been left with x. And the right-hand side, we're going to do 270 divided by 5, which is 54. Okay, next we move on to AQA's offering. And we've got a part A here. No, we're not going to do part B. Part B is to do polygons, which is not uh, in this topic. But we are definitely going to go through part A because there's a lot going on here. So it says we've got um, triangle ABC, which is equilateral. So we're going to start off with that. And we're just going to focus our attention on that. Now, what we know about equilateral triangles is all the angles are equal in an equilateral triangle. So we're trying to work out this angle here. We can work out the other angles as well, which they're obviously going to be the same. So to work out that angle, uh, which is angle ACB, so angle ACB, and that's going to equal all triangle, all angles in a triangle add up to 180. So we're just going to divide that by 3, because all the angles in an equilateral triangle are the same. That's going to give us 60 degrees. So we know that's 60 degrees there. Now, um, I've written... Uh, ABC, uh, sorry, ACB, it's angle ACB, and what that means is uh, that you go to um, A with your finger, go to C with your finger, and then go to B with your finger, and it's the angle you create when you do that. So it's actually the angle at C um, is the way we describe that, so it's the angle at C. Um, it's just the way of identifying what angle is we're trying to find. Okay, next step, we've got a, by the looks of it, let's have a look. You've got a line here and a line here, which means this is going to be an isosceles. Now, what do we know about an isosceles? Well, we know the bottom two angles in an isosceles um, are equal. Now, obviously, if the isosceles is like on its side, like that, then the bottom two are here, the base two, whatever you choose to call them. So you've got to be careful because they're not always at the bottom. Okay, so we know they're going to be equal. Um, so, hmm, right. So we're looking for angle ECD. Um, so I'll get rid of that one because we're looking at angle ECD. So angle uh, ECD. Right. So all the triangle, all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. 
um, and we know that um, the bottom two angles are going to be equal. So if I do 180, uh, let's do 180, and we're going to take away that 28 because we know what that we get rid of that one, and then we've just got to halve the answer. So divide it by two, and it's probably you know you might want to do this in two steps, and that's absolutely fine. You can do this in two steps, but I'm just going to get my calculator out and I'm going to type in 180 take away 28, which is 152. So the 152 needs to be used up equally between these two bottom angles. I'm going to divide that by two, and it says uh, 76. So that's going to be 76 degrees. Okay, um, so we can finish this off because if you notice, these three angles here make a straight line. So to find out what x is, we're going to do uh, 180 because it's a straight line. Take away the two that we know, so 60 plus the 76. So 180 take away bracket 60 plus 76, and that's going to be 44. Now something we haven't done and we should have done throughout this question is written down the reasons. I'm not going to go back and do it because um, for this one question um, they're not required. And just don't take the risk. I know the question doesn't explicitly say um, give reasons for your answers or give reasons for each step of your working out. But you should get in the habit of writing it down anyway. Um, so for... Um, the first bit, what I did was I, I was like, angles in a triangle add up to 180 is absolutely fine explanation. And then in brackets, equilateral triangle, which is why we divided by three. For the second part of the um, working out, um, I did angles in a triangle add up to 180. Then I divided it by two because it was an isosceles triangle. And that's all you have to write, isosceles. Um, and then the last part is angles on a straight line. That's what I'd expect a, a student to write down, angles on a straight line. And that's absolutely fine. So just try and get in the habit of, of writing down the reasons as well. The last question is brought to us uh, by OCR. And we've got a nice parallel line question. So with angles on a parallel line, you should always be thinking along the lines of corresponding if they're F angles and they're equal. Uh, alternate if they're um, Z angles and th those two are also equal or interior, co-interior, allied, all three of those mean the same thing. And those aren't equal, they add up to 180, because one will be an acute and the other will be an obtuse angle. Um, you can also think about vertically opposite, that sort of tends to come up as well, but not necessarily in this question. So let's work our way through this question, work out which of the three we're looking for. So we've got an angle down here, okay? And we've. if you kind of have a look at the total angle here, these two are going to be uh, co-interior, interior, allied, whichever one you choose to call them. Um, so I'll write down a reason. It says give a reason for uh, each angle you work out. So we know there's going to be marks for that. And in total, I think it's a four-mark question. Two of those marks will be for the reason. So we're looking at angle ADC, which is that top one next, near the 56. And that's going to equal 180 take away 80 and the reason is allied angles allied angles uh, let's tidy that up because my pen is not exactly calibrated <laughs> Right, so they're allied angles. Now, the thing with allied angles, or interior, co-interior, whatever you choose to call them, is they, they're not equal. They add up to 180, okay? So 180 take away 80 is going to be 100. So we know that big angle, the blue one at the top, is 100 degrees. So we need to work out what um, this angle here is. So we just say angle um, B, D, C, which is the one we're asked to find. It says it there, equals 100 take away 56, which is going to equal 44 degrees. Now, um, what, what I should be cautious on with this question, what, where I kind of sit down and think, oh, am I sure I've got this right, is normally there are going to be two reasons that you're going to have to give. 
So it's very unusual for a question like this that it's only um, allied angles or corresponding alternate. There's normally a different reason you have to give. But looking at this, um, there really isn't a, a reason I can give for BDC because it's the total angle is 100 and I'm removing the part of the angle I don't want but I do know, which is 56, um, to find out the remaining part. So there's no real kind of explanation I can give uh, apart from just showing my working out to the marker. Um, and actually, allied angles gives you full marks, or co-interior, interior, whatever you choose to call it, gives you full marks. Um, one thing I could have done, uh, just as a bit of a bonus, maybe, is I could have extended that line there, and um, I could have done kind of Z angles, or alternate angles there. Worked out that's 80, and then done uh, 180 degrees, take away 56, take away 80. And um, with that one, I'd have to say uh, alternate, sorry, alternate um, to get this 80 here. And then I'd have to say angles on a straight line add up to 180 to find out what angle BDC is. So for that one, I would need to give um, two reasons. But for the one I chose to do, which I think is the easiest because it's direct, it goes straight there. And you don't need to draw any more lines onto the diagram. You only need to write down allied angles. Well, I hope that's been useful. Uh, if you want to see more from us, go to the website on maths.com. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, click the like. And if you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. And I hope you find that useful. And I'll see you tomorrow, as I will do every weekday, Monday to Friday, forevermore, or for the time being anyway. I'll see you tomorrow.